Greetings, everybody. Get your King James Bible. Turn to the book of Isaiah, chapter 52. This is the continuation of the commentary series. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Verse 1, Isaiah 52 and verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, the holy city. From henceforth, therefore, for the, I'm sorry, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth, there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Now, we just read that uh, the uncircumcised would not be able to go into Jerusalem. In Acts 15.1, there was a division among the people. Acts 15.1, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. So they're telling them that, oh, you've got to be circumcised in the flesh. In Colossians 2.11, In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. So we're supposed to be circumcised in the Spirit. Even in Jeremiah, Old Testament 4.4, 4, it says, Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Verse 2, Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. Are they captives physically or captives of sin? For thus saith the Lord, Ye have sold yourselves for naught, for nothing, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Ah, they're going to be redeemed. Is there a New Testament witness to this? Luke 1, 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Galatians 3, 13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth, on a tree. Galatians 4 5. To redeem them that were under the law. Who was under the law? Israel. Only Israel was under the law. The whole world was not under the law. Moses gave the law. Well, the Lord gave the law to Moses, who gave it to Israel. Not the whole world. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of of sons and in revelation 5 9 and they sang sung and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to god by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation revelation 14 4 um i think i'm going to skip that one I meant Isaiah 52 in verse 4. For thus saith the Lord God, My people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? Remember, they were taken away for captivity, for nothing, right? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord. 
and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. Keep that in mind, good tidings. That publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth, of, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Huh. So where do we read about good tidings? Luke 2.10 And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Verse 11 For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Now these were this was the angel that went to the um, shepherds in the field that were proclaiming the birth of Christ. And Paul in Romans 10 and 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good tidings of good things. Isaiah 52 verse 8, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye. And when the when the Lord shall bring again Zion, break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward." Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. Who's the Lord's servant? I think it's Christ. Verse 14. As many were astonished, astonished at thee, his visage, which is his face and image, his visage was marred more than any man and his form more than the sons of men. In other words, when he was beaten before the crucifixion, his visage was marred. It was be he was beaten up. Visage, noun, comes from uh, Latin. Believe it or not, that's where they get the word video from. Um, I didn't know that. The Latin word is visus. The face, the countenance, or look of a person or of other animal, chiefly applied to human beings as a wolfish visage. And then in the Webster's 1828 dictionary, he actually quotes this verse in Isaiah 52 verse 14, where it says his visage was so marred more than any man. That's why I like the Webster's 1828 dictionary. The guy was a, ling a linguist, which is a, bi a language scholar. He knew the biblical languages of Hebrew for the Old Testament. He knew the biblical language of Greek for the New Testament. And uh, he was a believer on top of all that. Plus, many of the words have Bible references where they're found. So, uh, Webster's 1828 in hard copy in a book form would be very, very valuable and useful in the event that we lost the Internet. Verse 15, Isaiah 52, verse 15. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The kings shall shut their mouths at him. For that which had not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. Well, this is the end. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' precious name, 
Amen.